Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to see how to make cool animated presentations in Figma. I'm going to share one technique that will help you animate almost every presentations in Figma. So first thing that you have to do is just simply design your presentation within Figma. And only one thing that you have to take care is to rename all and add a suffix or a prefix before them so that you identify different elements which uh, belong to a specific slide. So to rename everything, you just have to select all of them, press Ctrl R and you will be able to add a prefix or a suffix. So I'll add prefix and and I'll put an underscore and select current name. For each slide, I have added the slide name at itself as the prefix. Now for the pr title presentation, I want it to appear directly and while going away, it should move to the left and um, like simple animation, it should also fade out. So what I will do is copy this as it is and Figma always looks for the same name. So you don't make sure that you have the same name and uh, you have to now move that inside this. And if you still see it here, you can click it and uh, click the frame and check the clip component so that it will be clear to you that you, you are actually working within the frame. And this element I will copy from the first slide, paste it on the other one. And I'll just move that on the right hand side, just this much and make it 0% opacity. Now, at the same time, what I want is, I want this element to be here. But as you can see, I have already masked this photo with a shape. So I want the shape to move in. So what I'll do, I'll just keep it here, not move the entire frame, but I'll just move the shape within this. Now I also want this to appear directly from the top. This is basically, if you see, this is the title and the subtitle of the text. And I'll paste it here and I'll move this at the top and sort of hide it with 0% opacity. Now, this is obviously in auto layout. So what I will do is I'll copy this as it is, paste it here and I will move it like all the rest of it. For the time being, I'll just uncheck the clip content check mark so that I'm, I'm able to see what I'm uh, animating. And what I'll do, I'll just increase the spacing between this layout so that uh, when we put auto layout, the spacing will decrease and this will slot sort of arrive late uh, in this animation. And also, uh, so this is, I think this is too much, bit too much. Uh, I'll make it like a four times of its original size and I'll decrease this opacity to like Z from zero and this from 50. Go to prototype mode and animate between these two on click navigate to and instead of instant i'll click on smart animate and I'll, i will give it a solid one second to animate now when i animate now uh, in the next step this entire thing i will copy here and just paste it here and i don't want it to move anywhere so i'll just quickly just fade it away here and this i'll just make it move so i'll copy here again paste it here and go inside the mask and move the shape so that it's so i've pasted those elements in this in this slide and apart from that i'm not only pasting them and moving them aside so that they move inside i'm also making the second and the third element slightly far away from the main position so that they arrive slightly late because they have the same amount of time to move to that space but they are arriving slightly late and this this one i'll just copy from here and paste it in this slide and move it and move it down and as you can see all of these are inside this slide so when i cl check clip content all of them are hidden now uh, one thing that i forgot to do is basically uh, fading them out so i'll just fade them out from 50 percent this mobile and these things I'll this I'll keep it right like this only this I will fade from 50 and this I will fade from zero 
clip contents and I, I will put the 700 millisecond mark so that it's consistent and let's see how it looks so as you can see uh, it's already looking great third slide as you can see it has moved to the position so always make sure that you have done the right naming conventions uh, lastly we i'll just quickly go through this how i have uh, made this position so i duplicate the original frame i transferred all the content these contents that i want to fade in into this one and i just moved it on the left side like as you can see i'll just unclip uncheck the this thing so as you can see i have already copied it inside this and moved it on the right side and couple of other things like this i have faded so in this also you are, you are able to see that this is actually faded and uh, what i have done is same thing i have copied and i have just reduced the parameters so it doesn't really animate that much only it has reduced in the percentage so as you can see uh, one, once we go inside from here and something like this it happens so there in this one in the prototype mode what i have done is i have transitioned it on click and from here uh, i have i have given it a 1 millisecond delay and from here it transitions into the final final frame with 1000 millisecond if you want certain things within a page to animate first and then you want other things to animate in then you can create a duplicate of the final frame and sort of uh, compile all, all the elements required elements in the middle frame and whichever you want first you just animate in and then you can basically simply from there you can give the interaction of delay of one millisecond and then find a, uh, this thing so that's all for this one today and if you like this video please subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in the next one.